Okay, welcome back to the Obi-Wan channel. This is going to be a real quick one, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, I know. I never make them short. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about steel rubber products. Steel rubber products. That is S T E E L E rubber products. Quality restoration rubber is what they have. That's their slogan. So um, I'm on uh, Facebook a lot. Well, not a lot, but I'm, I'm there in groups uh, for my F100 right over there. And also I have my 71 and 73 Mustang, so I'm part of those groups there. And Instagram, and, and, and I'm basically on the internet. And there are there's a lot of time where people say, hey, where are you getting your parts from? And, you know, you can get them from LMR. You can get them from uh, um, Auto Crafters. You can get them from, you know, Melvin's Classic Auto Parts. You can get them from a lot of places, okay? But one of the things that comes up quite a bit <clears throat> is the weather stripping and the rubber and the cork, you know, those kinds of products. And and one of the names that stands out, to me, at least the way people talk about it the most, or I wouldn't say the most, but the most as far as the highest quality, that's what they claim, right, is steel rubber products. Again, S-T-E-L-E, -E, steel rubber products. Now... A lot of people tout it as being some of the highest quality out there. Some of the best uh, weather stripping and rubber that you can find out there. I have bought a few things from Auto Crafters and, and, and a few of those other places where uh, it, it, I think Daniel Carpenter is another brand that's out there. Um, there's, you know, just all kinds of stuff, really. However, um this one here really has its own website where like you know uh, a lot of the others they sell through the distributor whether it's you know again summit or auto crafters etc this place here has its own website where you can actually go and you can actually visit on their website and buy directly from them and i do know that some of these aftermarket suppliers also distributors also buy these uh steel rubber products as well um nothing wrong with that but i'm just saying it's one of the few that i've noticed that is not only uh an option but also has their own website and some people even claim that perhaps they might even be manufacturing a lot of it all together under a different name i don't know the validity of that i'm just saying that i bought some steel rubber products weather stripping and i just kind of wanted to check it out okay so i just did a, a google by the way I went straight to Steel Rubber Products to their website because of everybody online saying that that's the way to go. Um, and I had not even researched it. Believe it or not, I, I didn't even go looking for it. Well, I just now did a YouTube uh, search and lo and behold, they have a really nice YouTube channel. Um, they, they, they talk about a lot of nice things. I started watching one video and got halfway into it and said, I got, I got other things I need to be doing right now. So I kind of quit. But my point is, is that this just arrived here. So this is why it came up on my mind. And the other thing was, is that, you know, Hey, um, this is something I think is lacking out there because I did uh, steel rubber product reviews and yeah there's you know Power Nation or whoever you know these, these garages guru garages or whatever that are you know saying yeah, steel rubber product blah 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 that's fine but I mean there's nobody been I haven't seen anything I didn't dig deep enough probably but I haven't seen anything yet to where there's just a guy like me who just bought it and said hey yeah it's good hey no it's bad um, one more thing to note before we kind of get going here, but, um, the other thing to note is that, uh, steel rubber products is also noted as one of the most expensive. Okay. Based upon my initial contact with this stuff, I can see why it's very good stuff. It really is. I mean, brand new. It's very good stuff. Longevity wise. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure that as I get to use in my car, I will let everybody know if there's a problem. Okay. But. Or if I installed it wrong or whatever. But for right now, uh, well worth the price. No doubt. Definitely. Uh, I know all you guys out there. Some of you guys out there. You know, that you're a Amazon commie lover. You like all that Am Amazon stuff. Super cheap China stuff. Yeah, go for it. I don't really care. 
Me personally, I try to find stuff that's made in the USA because after all, they don't really actually hate us for our hobbies that we have, okay? Um, and uh, I believe what I understand is all this stuff is manufactured right here in the United States, packaged and uh, shipped here. So, all right, I spent about roughly 800 bucks in that little box right there. That's right. Uh, but I do have a back order item, which is, these are my doors over here, my 71 Mustang doors, and I, I bought the, the wiper weather strips and whatnot for the tops of the doors. And uh, those are on back order yet, <clears throat> according to the packing slip. Now, that's the other thing you should note. When I was on Steel Rubber Products' website, uh, looking directly at everything, the, uh, right there it says, you know, two, three weeks before expected delivery. Uh, one to two weeks before expected delivery. All those kinds of things. In stock, uh, you know, all of that, right? And uh, this box came well in advance of what I was expecting. I was actually kind of expecting they would send me the in-stock stuff right away. And then they would, you know, slowly feed in the rest of the stuff. But as you have to imagine, that would probably be pretty expensive shipping-wise. You know, shipping out like something every week or two compared to you know leaving it all at one bunch and then shipping it out and i'm actually really glad that they didn't leave it all the way to the end because i really need uh this one right here and a few of these other ones because it, my car's in the body shop right now and he's gonna need those so I'm, I'm really glad that they didn't wait that long but the fact that they don't have those top weather strips for the doors it's not gonna hurt my feelings right now because uh, obviously, again, I'm working on the doors. Got to get those back to the body shop as well. And then when I do that, uh, he can paint it and then I'll get it back. And then at that point, yeah, I'm going to need some weather strips for the top of my doors. And I would expect that, you know, they would have them to me by then. Okay. Um, the other thing when I was there, typed in 1971 Mustang, you know, blah, blah, blah. They have, they list everything out. And they provide a very comprehensive list of everything that they have available. And I was actually very impressed because there was a lot of things that I learned that I did not even have before. For example, um, here we go. How about the, the foam rubber rear bumper to body pad? So you put this between the body and the rear bumper as you bolt it up against the taillight panel, basically, in the trunk. And these are foam rubber. They feel really firm, even though they're foam rubber. Um, and... I, I never even knew that, that I had those or that was an option because, again, um, you know, when I took my bumper off, they weren't there, okay? Uh, this is the, let's see here, the uh, quarter panel drain. These are little, like, rubber things with a little hood on them that kind of go into the quarter panel area right underneath, right where the bottom of the trunk, so to speak, and it allows the water to drain out of the trunk should it ever get full of water, right? And honestly, that's where all the rusting begins. In my opinion, that's where all the rusting begins. I did not really know if I'm going to actually use those, but I was in there, and again, I started learning all the stuff that, oh, crap, they got this, they got that, they got this. And you know how it goes, it's just one chain reaction, you end up buying damn near the whole damn thing that you need, because after all, I'm doing a full restoration, so why not go new, right? Um, but my point is, is that, here's what I noticed, some of the stuff is, uh, yeah, it's pretty pricey, and then some of the stuff, it's like, cheap, it's like, really? That's it? Well, yeah, I mean, spend 10 $20 now, rather than, you know hundreds of thousands of dollars later you know fixing rust later or whatever you know so that was kind of the attitude i bought the entire main kit which is basically the uh, roof weather stripping the trunk the doors you know and all that kind of stuff and i think that was four or five hundred bucks uh, but then all these little things here i just kind of threw in because again it was you know like twenty dollars here ten dollars there etc and it's just it's going to be well worth it. Uh, so let's start looking at some of this stuff. Here's the gas uh, tank fuel filler neck seal that goes on the trunk floor. Um, this is the quart gasket that goes, you know, right where the uh, fuel filler neck bolts to the back of the taillight panel. Look at these little, little rubber uh, bumpers for uh, the license plate so it doesn't rattle. 
I didn't even know that that was a thing, so I got them. I know I also have inside here, and I'm not going to dig them out, but I also have uh, like the the little uh, bumpers that go into the actual door where you know you shut the door and it won't rattle so bad, I guess. This is the uh, foam rubber pad that goes on the bottom of the steering column to the firewall. Uh, here's an example. Let's see, what's this one? This was the um, engine to hood weather strip. Comes with the clips and everything on there, it looks like. Uh, here's uh, the hard top roof weather stripping. Got some screws in there even. Um, here's the trunk. Very pliable, very... I mean, I, I actually replaced the rubber weather stripping on my uh, Mustang back in high school, honestly. I did, around my doors and my roof rail and my trunk. And uh, I don't, I mean, I remember how, what that stuff felt like. I got it from a place called J.C. Whitney back then. Used to buy it in like length, you know. You just said you needed so many feet. And uh, they would send it to you, kind of more of a, I guess, just a primitive type roll and tape it up and throw it in a bag or whatever and send it to you um this one here's the door weather strip but my point is is that i remember the weather stripping and it was pretty decent for what it was back then you know but this stuff is really this stuff is really nice very pliable that was one i want to show you guys that i was shocked that they even had here we go so this is the uh, seals for the front of the door window. So this like goes like right where the door shuts and this little split right here kind of seals around the actual, um, the, this little split here. It, it kind of seals around where the, the back window comes up through and it's got the metal in it, as you can see, with the rubber wrapped around it. I, I did not expect uh, that they would have something like that. In fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've got the originals over here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Right there. There's where the originals are. I'm trying to grab it with. Hold on, I gotta hang my camera. There we go. So I'm trying to. You know, I mean, it, it's it can it's workable, it's doable, it really is. Um, and you know, the weather, the the rubber is kind of sort of there, but I can feel it pretty, being pretty stiff. So, I mean, I can make it work, but I have to clean it up, obviously. And you can actually see some of the cracking going on there. But I guess, you know, why do that when you got something brand new now, right? So anyway, um. That's the steel rubber products right here. What I needed, the reason why I went there, because I needed the gaskets that go around the front marker lights, uh, the rear quarter marker lights, the side front fender marker lights, and especially these. These are the ones I really needed. These are the uh, fender, or what do you want to call it? The, the seals that go between the quarter panel, quarter panel extension or on a 6970 Mustang, I understand these are also what you use for those headlight eyebrows that go over the top of the headlights, those corner pieces. So you just take here and you just, you can see you can split this right in half and you have one piece for one, one side and one piece for the other. Now, do I have to trim this to, to length? I don't, I don't know, but it doesn't matter because I can definitely do that. But the, again, the rubber feels really good. Um, very pliable, this is awesome. So again, uh, I won't keep you much more longer because now this video, I, I always say I'm going to do this and I always say that I'm not going to take very long and, and then it just ends up taking freaking forever. So, um, whatever. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if you're paying attention, you got all the information that I have in my head, which may or may not mean anything to you, but at least you can uh, learn something from me rather than, you know, doing what I did, which is going to this blindly and hoping that it works out. Uh, so, all right, that's uh, Steel Rubber Products. That's my review, initial review, basically unboxing type review. And from this point on, um, keep following along and I'll probably tell you how everything went when we get it all done. And that's going to be coming soon. Here pretty soon we're going to be having that car coming home 
and uh, hopefully by Thanksgiving is the plan. May, if not, definitely before Christmas, and we'll have that sucker sitting here in the garage. Got to let it sit for about 30 days to cure really well, at least two weeks for sure. And then after that, we'll start installing wiring and weather stripping, basically. So, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, and also, I'm, like I said before in some of my videos, I'm over on Rumble. So, Rumble, Rumble, Rumble if you're already there. And if you're not there, you should be going there. As much as we all like YouTube for what it is, uh, they are commies. Just putting it out there. Probably get banned just because I said that, but hey. Truth hurts, doesn't it, YouTube? But anyway, um, if you stop being a commie, we'll continue to use you, and you'll be, you know, awesome. If you don't stop being a commie, uh, then, you know, people are going to migrate to Rumble. At some point, it's going to happen. Uh, they're going to figure you out. That's just the way it is. All right, guys, there you go. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.